Welcome to the Biochem Seria episode entitled Reactions of Carbohydrates. This is an episode of the playlist on chemistry of carbohydrates which is linked above. Feel free to click and visit the playlist above to view the other episodes on this topic. Carbohydrates, usually monosaccharides can undergo certain reactions, either via the O group of its anomeric carbon, or its other O groups. Let us now explore the different reactions that carbohydrates can undergo. The first, and one of the most common reactions that sugars undergo is mutarotation. In the cyclic form, as opposed to the open chain form, aldoses have an asymmetric carbon, also called, chiral carbon, at C1. The corresponding isomeric forms are called anomers. In the beta anomer, as shown on the left, the OH group at C1 or the anomeric O group, and the CH2OH group lie on the same side of the ring. In the alpha anomer, shown on the right, they are on different sides. The reaction that interconverts anomers into each other is known as mutarotation. When the anomeric OH group of a sugar reacts with alcohol, with the elimination of water, it yields an O-glycoside, in this case is shown, alpha-methylglucoside. The glycosidic bond is not a normal ether bond, because the OH group at carbon-1 has a hemiacetyl quality. Oligosaccharides and polysaccharides also contain O-glycosidic bonds. We will see an example of an O-glycosidic bond joining two monosaccharides forming a disaccharide. This is an example of an O-glycosidic bond formed between two sugars forming a disaccharide. An O-glycosidic bond joins the anomeric OH at carbon-1 of galactose to the O group of carbon-4 of glucose with the removal of water. The disaccharide lactose, which is found in milk, is thus formed. Likewise, the anomeric O group of sugar can react either with an NH2 or an NH group which yields, this time, an N-glycoside. N-glycosidic bonds occur in nucleotides and in glycoproteins. We will see this in the next slide. As mentioned previously, the hydroxyl group on the anomeric carbon of a monosaccharide, can also react with an NH group of another compound to form, this time, an N-glycosidic bond. N-glycosidic bonds are found in nucleosides and nucleotides. For example, in the adenosine moiety of ATP, the nitrogenous base adenine is linked to the sugar ribose through an N-glycosidic bond. Sugars can be oxidized at the aldehyde carbon to form an acid. Technically, the compound is no longer a sugar, and the ending on its name is changed from O's to onic acid or onate, for example, gluconic acid or glucuroni. Oxidation of the aldehyde group at C1 gives the intramolecular ester, lactone of gluconic acid, which is a glyconic acid. Phosphorylated gluconolactone is an intermediate of the pentose phosphate pathway. On the other hand, when glucose is oxidized at C6, glucuronic acid, a glycuronic acid, is formed. The strongly polar glucuronic acid plays an important role in biotransformations in the liver. If the aldehyde of a sugar is reduced, all of the carbon atoms contain alcohol or hydroxyl groups, and the sugar is a polyol. A good example is the reduction of the anomeric center at C1 of glucose, producing the sugar alcohol sorbitol. If one of the hydroxyl groups of a sugar is reduced so that the carbon contains only hydrogen, the sugar is a deoxysugar, such as the deoxyribose in DNA. The next reaction sugars can undergo is esterification. This happens when the hydroxyl groups of monosaccharides react with acids and can form esters. In metabolism, phosphoric acid esters such as glucose 6-phosphate and glucose 1-phosphate are particularly important. In weakly alkaline solutions, glucose is in equilibrium with the aldohexose D mannose, via an enidyl intermediate. The only difference between glucose and mannose is the configuration of the hydroxyl groups at carbon 2. Pairs of sugars of this type are referred to as epimers, and their interconversion is called epimerization. This concludes this episode of the Biochem Seria series of this topic. Feel free to watch the other Biochem Seria episodes of this lecture as linked on the next screen, and in the description below. Please subscribe to our channel, the Biochem Seria channel, click on the notification bell button, and be notified of new videos to be uploaded. Content will be added regularly. Thank you, for watching this Biochem Seria episode. You can check out the related videos linked here or click on the related playlist as shown to view all the videos of this topic.